this week's Tokyo Swan, and we are going to a sumo practice today. Because sumo tickets are really expensive, they're like 100 bucks, but practice, if you want to watch those, is free. So, we're going to check that out, hopefully have a good time. Cool, so here we are in Ryogoku. Uh, we switched over in Akihabara. And it's Anna. <laughs> Andrew, this is Anna's idea. Uh, Anna's idea. <laughs> She's responsible. As She's we're responsible. walking around lost in the city. What do I think about sumo? Yes. Um, I think Anna would make an excellent sumo wrestler because her large physique. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look at this, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Spaz. Wow. It looks like the episode won't be about sumo. All the free seats are sold out. <laughs> well, well. Why are you getting our disappointed faces? <laughs> hey, go to Anna, she's probably crying. <laughs> Andrew, what are we going to do? Pray. Pray. <laughs> wow, I'm so, so mad at you right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the Sumo Museum. Uh, it looks like it's free. Hopefully this one's not like sold out or whatever, like the actual sumo practice. So, the episode is still about sumos, see? I uh, make do on my promises, and uh, here we have some fascinating sumo work on the wall. <laughs> so apparently the doors to the sumo museum are locked, unless Andrew can find another door. No, that one's locked as well. We're locked out, so we can't get into the sumo museum. <laughs> so, oh wow, that's nice artwork on the wall, though. Unbeknownst to us, there was this secret passage that we're now following. Um, I think we may yet go to the museum. So in the museum, there's a TV over there. And you can watch sumo, so even though it's not the real thing, it's like watching TV. So now, I don't know what the game plan is. We're really close to Akihabara, so I'm like halfway tempted to just go over there, uh, buy more Sega Saturn games, you know. Um, I felt I got a, a smattering of culture uh, this morning, which is good. <laughs> I think they're pretty tough, but uh, let me tell you, Tokyo's fine. I can take them in a scrap. I'm pretty sure of it. Welcome to Akihabara. Yeah, so here I am in Akihabara. It's just an amazing day out, and I don't know. As much as Akihabara confuses me and sometimes frankly disgust me and you know I find it completely strange and, and fascinating it's, it's my favorite place here um, I don't know there's something about it I just I just love it uh, maybe I enjoy it for how strange it is um, I mean there's can't really beat you know it's nice sunny weather I'm drinking a Dr. Pepper mm. here in Akiba it's lovely it's relaxing there's just so many side streets to Akihabara I mean right back there like a little park, uh, which is pretty interesting. I mean, in amongst all of the, the strange electronic and 
pornographic shops. There's this quiet and calm little park. So, yeah, I don't know, I just feel really relaxed today uh, being here. I just, I don't know, I feel calm. All right, so now we're in the elevator going up to the Reco fan of Akihabara to buy a Sakamoto CD. I'm exploring this new part of Akihabara I've never been to, and there's a Burger King. I found the home of the Whopper in Akihabara. Oh wow, I didn't know they had one. So, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the episode. Awesome, I know what I'm having for lunch. And yeah, we'll see you next time.